San Diego Superchargers, yeah! Uh, welcome to Profit Moffat, Volume 5. I think we're on Volume 5. Volume 5, right? It's Volume 5, right? I'm talking to my imaginary friend over here. He says it's Volume 6, but he's drunk. Uh, anyways, Volume 5, Profit Moffat. Dot TV and um, did you see the Chargers game last night? They annihilated uh, the Denver Broncos and made up for that horrific game at the beginning of the season. If you don't know anything about NFL, then probably speaking Swahili to you. But anyhow, uh, we got one really cool tip today uh, on the Profit Moffat Show, and that is how to put um, really boring stuff up for you to watch here now is how to put up audio onto your website with an easy button so we don't have to download links and stuff like that. And I've had a ton of people ask me that. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, make an audio button, just like this one right here where you'll see me click. Okay, so we're on. We are on. And so the audio plays the right on your website. So I'm going to show you how to do that. In fact, I'm not actually going to show you. I'm just going to show you the resource to do it here at this web page. And it explains exactly how you do it. And you just go download two little files, add those into a folder or directory called audio. And then they're just sitting on your server on your website file thingy things. And then anytime you want to put up uh, an audio somewhere, you just take this code right here, stick that up, but you change the URL of where you drop your MP3 and it'll stream right on your page. If you don't understand what I'm saying, don't worry. I'm going to put the website address right down here where you can go download this audio player and the JavaScript player thing or whatever it is and get the instructions for it as well. It's super easy. I did it myself. And um, thanks to uh, Ryan, uh, Magic Ryan at the Rich Jerk. He's the one who showed it to me. It's worked uh, really good for me. And so I wanted to share it with you guys because uh, audio is a great way to uh you know distribute content to your members and let's like tell you why it's actually so great to make audio and why it's really awesome to look at trey smith mr info millionaire in rainbow headband gear because i mean let's face it don't we all work out wearing like totally hot awesome clothes and like 70s disco cop glasses uh in the morning i do i mean i would hope that you would too but uh audio can be really uh, it can have multi-purposes that most people don't leverage. I know I don't leverage it enough. In fact, I had Ryan today um, uh, on Craigslist and interviewing transcriptionists and stuff because the thing you can do with an audio is if you have a half an hour, an hour long audio program or even this video, you can send it off to a transcriptionist, have the whole thing transcribed, you get all the text right there. Now that's unique content that no one else has unless somebody's telepathically saying the same thing as you somewhere else around the world and transcribing that. Now you got a bunch of unique content which you can use in multiple ways. It can become article content, it can be like blog fodder, it could be um, you know just posting the transcript of the audio for someone who doesn't want to listen and they would just rather read it. I've used it for a lot of things like if I'm going to write a copy for a client, what I like to do is get on the phone with them and talk and interview them and I'll record that entire conversation and in that uh, conversation will become a lot of the nuggets. In fact, their deep passionate moments are going to become like the subheads in a lot of the copy. Um, instead of me doing all the work, I would rather get it right from the horse's mouth, so to speak, and really get the gems that you might not really think about when you're just talking to somebody, but when you transcribe and you start reading it back, you really notice that a lot of times a client will write a lot of the copy for you and you, all you need to do is just polish it up and reword it because uh, a lot of times we want to sell something, you're just you know coming up and telling people what you got and here's you know how you buy my stuff. And so a lot of times if it's a low pressure interview with somebody, they are uh, going to reveal a lot of that stuff because they don't feel like they're pitching something and, um, and it's cool because you can go back and edit if there's crappy stuff, you know, whatnot. Um, did I say San Diego Superchargers yet? Uh, I think I did. So, uh, touchdown. Uh, that's it. Put the audio on your pages. Use the audio in multi-purposes um, for articles or, you know, whatnot. And that's going to help you to get, you know, uh, more organic listings in Google and just all that kind of good stuff. Or you could submit it to easing articles. You could do all kinds of stuff. You could transcribe 
all this nonsense I'm talking about right now, and you could go build a squidoo thread all about the nonsense I was just talking about. Some don't think it's nonsense. I'm sure there's probably three of you guys out there that are smart enough to go out and do it. Um, so <clears throat> maybe four, five. I mean, I think like eight people watch my videos, so I would say half of you guys are probably intelligent enough to understand how powerful audio is uh, and why you should probably be using it a little bit more, and I hope the player we gave you helps you out. All right, so I'm going to actually walk you through how to use this thing, download it and everything step by step, because I know some of you um, will probably be like myself when you first came here and not know everything, so let's just go through the whole thing. Um, Let's get rid of that page. So first of all, we're going to click on Audio Player WordPress Plugin. This link right here. Go over to this page. And we want to scroll all the way down. And click Download Audio Zip Player. It'll prompt us to uh, save this somewhere. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Okay, now I have this Audio Player uh, thing right here. Uh, zip file. I'm going to extract all the files out of that baby. And cool. So now, yeah. Now it's going to give me a PHP file and then this audio player um, and these files right here. So I'm going to show you what to do with these in just a second. So now what I've done is I've opened up uh, my FTP program and we're just going to use my website niche browser here and in the uh, I need to create a directory here in the in the root area so we're going to create a directory called audio and click OK and you'll see this little uh, audio right here has just come up now what I need to do is go over to my desktop here So I want to go to my desktop here, click on desktop, and the folder I'm looking for here is audio player. Let's open up the audio player, and it'll bring up these files down here below. But what we want to do is into the audio folder over to the right here, we want to drag the audio player.js, and we also want to drag over the player.ws, or .swf. And we also want to take any MP3. In this case, we have test MP3 uh, already loaded up, so we'll drag that in there as well. Next, we want to come back to this page where they provide us the uh, script here that we want to copy just like that. And I'm just going to bring up a notepad file for the time being and stick that right in there like that. And if you'll notice here, everywhere where it's highlighted yellow, these are the places where we're going to need to now put our uh, name of our domain and everything right in there. All right, sorry about that. I had a phone ring. So we need to replace these yellow areas here with the files that are appropriate for what we have. And we have uh, over here niche browser forward slash audio and then these files right here. So let's go edit our... Um, little bit here our fake domain is not a fake domain we want to replace niche browser dot com forward slash audio just like that and then we're gonna want to do this one more time for here or at niche browser dot com forward slash get rid of that audio player and then niche browser one more time down here get rid of that and one last one right here oops But this one here where it says music dot <clears throat> says niche browser forward slash audio music dot mp3. This is where you need to name whatever your mp3 is named. In this case, this one is test. 
then that's what we will put in case of music right there. Test. All right, so then we're going to highlight and copy all that code right there. And that's the code that we are going to go and put onto a web page. Okay, so I opened up a HTML editor. I'm using uh, Excite Pro here. And I'm just going to type, uh, this is a test page. We'll just uh, highlight that, whatnot. And then what we want to do, remember we copied the code. And we want to just go into the source code here. I'm going to center it real quick. And just paste that code that we did earlier. And close the center tag and design and little JavaScript right there. Now I'm going to push publish and hopefully this test page that we just created will have audio playing on it. Okay, so we published a page. It said this is the test page and here is the audio player and just click the button right there and the audio plays for you. Very, very simple. Hope you guys uh, get some use out of it.